Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another What I Eat in a Day video. So, what have you guys been up to? How are you guys? Have you guys done anything exciting this week? Let me know in the comments below what you guys have been up to. Let me know how keto is going. Let me know if you guys have been working out. Let me know how life is. Life is good, y'all. Life is good. <laughs> So, I have been so insanely crazy busy. I haven't even really been working out. I've been going, you know, we've still been going for walks and stuff like that, but I have, feel like I haven't been to the gym in a hot stinking minute. So, I am actually going to the gym today wearing my Yaveti sports gear. So, that is always linked in the description box below. These are my absolute favorite sports bras. This, um... Yavetti shirt here is like mesh and it's open in the back and it keeps you so cool I'm wearing the Yavetti pants anyway it's always always um, linked in the description box below I've talked about them about a thousand times on this channel but I do love their sports gear and then like I said I've just been crazy busy so I've just if it's not YouTube it's work if it's not work it's cleaning the house doing all the things that you got to do just all the things y'all We've even been going through like some of the cabinets. I tried to clean up my closet and I really want to spring clean my house. I need to find some more time. Like, can we just make extra hours in the day? Can we just do that? Too bad that wasn't a thing because I would totally make that a thing for me because I need more hours in the day. Oh, and what stinks though is because I have been doing so much around my house, like I know I am just killing it as far as like doing workouts like cleaning style workouts but I don't have my phone on me so I don't even know how many steps I do or anything but can I just tell you by the time I go to bed this girl is tired my feet hurt so even though I've been crazy busy I don't know how many steps I've been doing all I know is when I hit the sack Mama's tired and my feet hurt. <laughs> I really want to catch up on my shows because I started Good Girls and I only got like maybe five, six episodes in and I haven't watched it in like two weeks. So I really want to go back and I want to continue watching that because it's a pretty good show. I <laughs> I kind of feel bad because I'm comparing every show to like Heart of Dixie or Virgin River now and I don't know if I'm going to find a show that stacks up to them because those were such good shows. <laughs> I've gotten DMs on Instagram with you guys saying, I cannot stop watching this. You have got me addicted to this show. And it's true, it's addicting. When I was watching that show, I would seriously be up to like 1, 1 1.30 in the morning watching that show. It was a problem. <laughs> so I'm drinking my um, ACV drink. Again, I will have that linked up um, in an iCard above if you guys are interested in how I make it so it's not disgusting. And I've had so many people compliment this recipe. So I am so glad that you guys like it because I was in the same boat as you. I was trying to think of a way to drink my apple cider vinegar because apple cider vinegar, if you guys didn't know, my liver enzymes were definitely not where they needed to be. And I swear by this stuff. I think this is really what helped my liver um, get back to normal levels. So. Um, I'm really glad that you guys are enjoying that recipe because it really helped me a lot and I feel so much better when I drink this. This gives me energy and I feel amazing when I drink it. Another thing I wanted to say is, oh my gosh, thank you all so much. I only have a few more thousand friends to go here on YouTube before I hit 50,000 friends. If you would have asked me two years ago, even a year ago, if I thought I would ever hit 50,000 friends on YouTube, I probably would have laughed because honestly, I never ever dreamed that I would ever make it this far. And all I can say is thank you so much because obviously if it wasn't for all of you guys, I would not be here where I'm at today. So bless you all. Thank you so much. Thank you for always coming back to my channel. Thank you for all the love and support. I love every single one of you guys and I just couldn't even imagine. I mean, I couldn't do this without you guys. So 
God bless you all and thank you so much. Another thing I wanted to share with you guys and let you guys know that I am so thankful for is I am so thankful that you guys are inviting me into your lives and sharing your success stories with me. You guys have tagged me in posts. Thank you so much for every single one of those stories because every single one of those stories motivate me and keep me going on a daily basis. I don't know how many of you guys have DM'd me and thanked me for motivating you guys, whether it be to meal prep or whether it be um, just on your weight loss journey, but I mean, honestly, I feel like we are in this together. We are a huge community that helps each other. For the most part, I feel like everybody just wants to bring each other up and everybody wants to support each other. So thank you. I feel like, I feel like we're all just here for each other. So I... You know, again, you guys always thank me, but I want to thank you guys. If you guys don't know it, you guys are a huge motivator for me too. So we are motivating each other. So keep them coming. I am loving every single story you guys are sending me. So again, keep them coming and thank you for letting me into your life. Thank you for sharing your stories with me. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. it. Makes me feel good when you guys send me your stories and tell me how much you've lost and send me your before and after pictures. You guys are freaking amazing and you are killing it. So don't ever quit. Don't ever stop. Remember how amazing you are. And I am loving every story, you guys. Keep sending them. First meal of the day, we're just going to do two eggs, and I'm just going to scramble them up, and then that sausage is just some full of sausage that I cooked up in my meal prep video that you'll see tomorrow. Oh, it's fogging up. But I cooked those in my air fryer, and then I'm not going to put any cheese or anything in here, but I will show you what I am going to top this with when it's done. All right. So the eggs and sausage are done and then I topped it with this right here. It's called Bitchin' Sauce. It is the original almond dip. This is the chipotle flavor. There are the macros if you are interested. If you guys have not tried this, this is so, so good. I am gonna go enjoy this, but that is actually two tablespoons, which is what the serving size is, but I'm actually going to mix that around so that way every bite gets that deliciousness right there. We just got back home and I did stop by Salad and Go on our way home and I picked up a Cobb salad. This is actually going to be for my lunch for tomorrow or dinner or whatever. I don't like blue cheese, so I don't get the blue cheese dressing and I don't get the blue cheese cheese. So I switched my cheese to feta cheese and ranch dressing. And then also I um, don't get the avocado because I don't like avocado, so I get an extra egg. And I just do the light bacon because if you don't ask for like easy bacon, then they will like give you so much bacon, it's not even funny. So that is what I'm going to do for my um, either lunch or dinner lunch or whatever for work tomorrow. And then I am going to start making dinner. We are going to have turkey legs and I'll probably just have a side as either a salad or the Brussels sprouts and cabbage that I made in my meal prep video that you'll see tomorrow. All right, so here are the turkey legs, these turkey drumsticks that I'm going to be cooking. I'm gonna cook them right there in my air fryer basket. I don't really know how long I'm gonna have to cook these, so I might have to play around with it, but I'm gonna probably put start them out on 10 minutes on the first side, probably 400 degrees, and I'm gonna season these bad boys up, and these are gonna be so good. So I'm just gonna use this Tony's seasoning, and like I said, I always try to be somewhat generous with my seasonings, because it makes your food so much better. All right, so we are just gonna slide this in here. Press air fry. It's already on 400 degrees. And then I think I'm gonna change the time. I'm gonna do it for around 10 minutes. And we're gonna flip it over and we'll go from there. So while those are cooking, I just wanted to show you guys, even though I did make this a whole bunch of pulled pork in my meal prep that you'll see tomorrow, we just weren't eating it fast enough, and it was a bunch. You'll see in the meal prep, but 
I am freezing two bags full. This is probably over a pound worth of pork in each one of these. I would probably say like two pounds worth. And I'm just gonna save these for a later date. These are already seasoned, they're already cooked, the whole nine yards, so then when we need to eat them, we can just yank these out, throw them in a little crock pot, and we will have an easy peasy already ready dinner. So, um, it just so happened that our fries, a local supermarket here, had these on sale for 99 cents a pound. So we got almost a 20 pounder. I think it was like 18 pounds or something like that. So it was a whole bunch of meat. All right, so that is what the turkey legs look like so far, but I'm gonna flip these over and put them back in there for probably another, I'll try another seven minutes and then we'll go from there, but I am gonna season this other side as well. All right finished product right there so that is how the turkey leg turned out it looks delicious and then I'm also going to have some vegetables that I prepped in my meal prep video that is cabbage Brussels sprouts and bacon and I did put a little bit of sriracha on there bon appetit I'm gonna go enjoy my dinner so yes, I did have vegetables, but it almost looks like a carnivore on my plate. That was delicious, if you couldn't tell. Tis that time to enjoy my evening coffee, and I am going to have it with this cookie dough Jordan Skinny Syrup. This is delicious. And then I did use two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. So this isn't what I'm going to have, but I wanted to show you. This is what I made in my meal prep as well. These are called the Blonde Brownies. They have coconut in there, they have walnuts, all kinds of good stuff, chocolate chips, but these are delicious. You will see those in my meal prep video um, tomorrow. But this is what I'm going to enjoy. These are so freaking good. So it is a peanut butter chocolate chip muffin um hello who doesn't like peanut butter and chocolate perfect combination and a muffin so i'm gonna go enjoy this let me show you the inside that's what the inside looks like and i am telling you guys it is so good you will see this in my meal prep as well all right so i wanted to share this planner with you guys this company reached out to me, Life and Apples, and they asked me if they wanted me to send the meal planner that they created to give a try. This is a really neat little planner. So it came with all these stickers right here, and then it also came with this bookmark, but I'm not going to go over every little nook and cranny of the book, but... It gives you um, two pages to plan out your weekly meal prep if you like to prep or your weekly plan for what you're going to make. Um, it also has an area where you can create a shopping list. It has notes. It has um, an area where you can say what you're grateful for. You can put in your budget and then what your goal is going to be. And then you can put the date in there. And that's basically what most of it is. But then when you get to the back... Then when you get to the back, then it does have like a staple shopping list. You can write down kind of the things that you get most of the time at the store, just kind of just to kind of make your grocery list a little bit easier. Then you can also put um, what your family's favorites are. You know, you can put whatever dish they like and then put their name on there. Then you can put restaurants that you like to go out to eat here. They have an area where you can write your recipes on there if you would like. They have an area where they give you different snack ideas. And then they have an area where you can create your own different snack ideas. Then I thought this was pretty neat. Um, it tells you what uh, fruits, vegetables, and all that stuff are in for the season. So they have winter, spring summer and fall on there and then i thought this was pretty cool so it says essential vitamins and here's the vitamin like this says biotin and right here is the function of what biotin is good for and then it tells you all the different things that you can eat that will help give you biotin and it gives all different types of um, vitamins here so i thought that that was a pretty cool little feature and it does the same thing with minerals. It tells you the mineral, the function, and the sources. 
And then it also gives you an expense tracker if you wanted to keep track of your expenses and you can do the month and then you could do the date, all of your expenses, the amount, and then you can have your total right there. And then the very back has some papers where you can just make notes. Then right here on the side, it does have like this little elastic where you can put a pin there if you wanted to keep a pin with it. Then it does have the elastic that holds it in the front. So I am not affiliated with this company. They did give me a discount code, but I have no affiliation with them. I will have it linked in the description box below if you guys are interested. I know that some of you guys have been asking about this in my grocery hauls when I show you my meal plan. So I just wanted to kind of go over it a little bit. So better. I've had a couple of you guys reach out to me saying that you're going to go for it. You're going to try keto. And I think that is absolutely wonderful. I say go for it because whether it ends good or whether it ends as an experience, either way, what do you have to lose? This is your life. This is your story. And it may end with a plot twist that you may absolutely love. So Every one of you guys that are like, I don't know, I'm on the fence, should I, should I not? I say go for it, you know? I mean, at least you can say you tried. You know, sometimes we don't always wanna hear this, but I really truly believe that things happen for a reason. And the more you try to control things on your own, sometimes that thing ends up controlling you. So kind of just go with the flow, you know? Let things happen. Trust the process, understand that the process is gonna take time, and go for it. And if you go for it, don't think you're gonna go from one to a thousand, you know, overnight, because that doesn't happen. <laughs> I'm not even at a thousand yet, so take it from one to 10. When you get to 10, okay, you're doing great. Now, let's move on. Let's take it from 10 to 20 and you'll eventually get there. But you know what? Don't try to jump from one to a thousand overnight because that just doesn't happen to any of us. That is not reality and that's okay. You know what? Like I said, find your story. You may love the way your story ends. So just try it out. Don't give up. Trust the process. And Worst comes to worst, it's just another experience down in your books. I just want to say thank you so much for watching. I greatly appreciate every single one of you guys. And don't forget to go out there and make today even better than yesterday. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye. On my own, but I don't know why. You hit the road, but you don't I won't look back when you're around I won't think twice when you're around